Hey guys, right now I'm driving a Tesla and I'm kind of freaking out because I really, really love Teslas uh, so much. Uh, but one thing I've always wondered about Teslas and I guess electric cars in general is why don't they need multiple gears like a traditional car? Well, you see, in a traditional car, the combustion engine only operates in a narrow range of speeds measured in RPMs or revolutions per minute. Typically, if you get below 500 RPMs, the motor will stall. And if you get over 7,000 RPMs, then the motor will overheat. And both of those things are never good. So to keep the car comfortably within that range, multiple gears are needed to change how fast the wheels are, even as the engine speed stays roughly constant. This works because gears that have more teeth will take longer to spin completely, meaning that they'll move slower. So in this car, first gear has 3.82 times more teeth than the gear on the engine, meaning that it'll go 3.82 times slower than the engine. By the time we get to sixth gear, it's actually 0.82 times smaller, meaning that it will go 20% faster than the engine itself. To be able to go a wide range of speeds, normal cars need gears to keep the engine happy. But in a Tesla, their electric motors can go anywhere from zero to over 18,000 RPMs. So to go faster, all you have to do is just increase the motor speed. <laughs> now, another big reason cars need a gearbox is torque. Now, torque is basically rotational force, or how much power is behind the spin. In the case of lug nuts on a tire, you have to apply a lot of torque to get them moving. And cars also need a lot of torque at first to get started. Now, power equals torque times speed. So as speed decreases, then torque increases, and vice versa. So since first gear is 3.8 times slower than the motor, that means that it has 3.8 times more torque than if that engine was hooked up directly to the drive shaft. Now, all this torque is absolutely necessary to get that car moving from a standstill. But since the power from the motor has to stay roughly constant, with a high torque, you're gonna be revving up your car a lot to really gain a speed. So to prevent running your motor too high, you shift to a higher gear that can go faster. And at that faster speed, you won't need as much torque because the wheels already have quite a bit of momentum. The cool thing about electric motors is that they have their maximum torque at zero RPMs. And that max torque stays until about 4,000 RPMs. And at that point, the car is already going around 30 miles per hour, and it doesn't need all of that torque. Now, Teslas actually do have a gear, but it's just one that is 9.7 to 1, which the engineers say gives the perfect balance between torque and speed. And I'd say I have to agree with them. The reason why I love Teslas so much is because at their core, they're so simplistic. You know, it's just these copper wires and magnets. And when you give it electricity, it goes and it goes really fast. Now, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video and I really enjoyed creating this video, then please leave a like or subscribe. And if you're watching this, Elon, I love you. <laughs>